Hello and welcome to this new episode of Free Science 365. Today's challenge is make the automatic siphon challenge. So, the other day I saw a car on the highway stopped because it ran out of gasoline and uh, it was asking other cars to stop and you know pass some gasoline from their gas tank uh, to that car and in these kind of cases what happens is oftentimes you have a pipe and you draw the air out of the pipe and that works as a siphon but that can be a little bit uncomfortable and sometimes even unhealthy because more often than not you end up swallowing the gasoline a little bit of it or diesel and that's not good for your body it smells bad tastes bad and it's it's a mess so that's where today's challenge comes in the challenge is to create a siphon without having to draw the air out suck the air out uh, using your mouth uh, you have to create a siphon that starts on its own and that's the challenge now let's look at the things we need for this experiment you need three things first a big reservoir in which the water will fall after you use the siphon the second is a smaller reservoir now what I have done is I've taken a three liter uh, water bottle and cut it in the middle so I'm just recycling plastic in this way <laughs> now mind you you have to fill it up to the brim so you should have some extra water with you and here it is so yeah that's about it you have to fill it to the brim otherwise the experiment might not work as good as it should so here we have filled our smaller reservoir up to the brim the bigger reservoir is empty and here a few straw pipes I don't know if I can if it's visible uh, now these are dandy straw pipes so you can use maximum three straw pipes to create an automatic siphon and that's the things you need for this challenge. Uh, let me give you a hint here because this is going to be a little bit too out of the box. So the hint is I am going to help you. I am going to help you. I am going to show you how to do it. And that's your hint. Alright, thank you for picking your brains on this problem. So, here comes the solution. So, I gave you the hint and the hint was I am and that's key to the answer. The type of siphon that you'll be making, which is automatic, would be an M shape or if you have seen a Bactrian camel you know the hump of the camel double hump that's the shape that uh, we would be making here and that shape is actually automatic now let me show you uh, how so I already have made one here and so first we'll see uh, how it works and then we'll make another one and okay so we filled it to the brim here. Right, let's do the settings so that you can see. Okay, let's see if this siphon works automatically or not. We immerse it in water here. And you can see, wow, isn't that amazing? It starts automatically. Now, let's see if we can have better look look at that and this will continue as long as we have this tip of the siphon immersed in 
water. All right, now let's uh, take it out and make sure when you take it out before you use it again there are some water pockets left in there so make sure there's nothing left in and you can do that by just blowing air let's see what happens if we immerse the longer side so this is our M siphon and if we immerse the longer side of the siphon look at that so you have a much longer siphon there that's the level so up to that level the water will draw out uh, though the flow is slower it's not as you know free flowing as the previous one but it still works all right fantastic all right let's get started so let's take the first straw pipe and this one we don't have to do anything with it it stays as such now let's take the second straw pipe and let's bend it now we have to create an M shape here isn't it so yeah I think what we can do is the second straw pipe we can cut it like so so the same height as the shorter pipe and so you have here yeah you have this shape here now remember we have to make an M shape but the first hump of the M has to be lower than the second hump so that's very important what I want to say is they should be at different heights so to do that uh, first of all let's uh, let's connect the pipes here so cut like this about half and half so cut one side of the straw in half and this part will go and connect with this but how will it go and connect with it? so what I did is I created a little bit of cut here so I cut it about uh, yeah, half a centimeter or so and that creates the opportunity to make this hole a little bit narrower because you have a cut here and that cut will create a kink and you can insert that into the other hole now be careful because you have to make sure that when you're connecting uh, these two pipes there's no place for air to escape so make sure of that now yeah very good so we can see the shape is coming into being now for the other hump of the M so let's get the third straw here bend it so that's the bend and this will again go in there and this one has to be this hump has to be a little bit higher than the other one so cut accordingly and so for that what we can do is actually yeah, cut this one here okay that's a much smaller cut there and so we cut it yeah actually mm, we cut about two-thirds I don't know but you can take a measure from here so the cut part is actually bigger than the part that remains and this will then go in like so and that will create our M shape double humped automatic siphon and how do we connect them again cut it a bit like so and yeah just fit the kink into the other pipe like this and as i said before make sure it doesn't have any space for air to escape yeah i think that's pretty much it now we have the m shape siphon and you can actually yeah cut this side maybe so if you cut this side yeah you have 
you have the automatic I'm sorry this one is coming off so we need to connect it back go deeper yeah okay I think that's a good connect there if you want to make it uh, even more robust you can actually apply tape around these connecting points but first let's see if we can do without applying tape so let's bring in our apparatus here it is this is the old one so let's keep it on the side for now and let's fill the smaller reservoir with water yeah i think that's near the top okay let's see if our new automatic siphon works or not okay so remember the humps this one has to be a little bit higher than this one and immerse it in water first it goes and that's the flow look at that yes <laughs> keep a tissue or a towel handy so that you can dry your hands and fingers and that's it so that's our automatic siphon the M shaped siphon thank you for watching this video till the end and as always please like subscribe spread this video uh, as much as you can and I'll see you in the next one until then bye bye